Time to go then in X30 Senior. Here's your grid for heat number two. Archie Garlic has pole position ahead of Matthew Herbert on the front row. Jack Sherwood and Brandon Matchell start this race from row two. Ellis Borchier and Joseph Aaron start on row number three. Caelan Burbridge and Benjamin Southgate have got work to do from row number four. Alex Johnston and Sam Heading have a chance here from row number five. Steve Brown, a.k.a. Super GT, lots of support from him in the chat, starts this race from row six alongside Vishal Patel. Tyler Reed and Lucas Ellingham, winner of heat number one, start this race on row seven. Nathan Emmes and Oliver Henwood start on row number eight. Joshua Torpy and Alex Moody in the midfield there on row number nine. Harry Torpy and Daniel Hackett are on row number 10. Scott Smith and Jordan Brown, row 11. Thomas Massarella and Ty Stansfield on row number 12. McBanner and Mason Weir continuing the grid there on row 13. Archie Forbert looking to bounce back from heat one. Starts this one on row 14 alongside Christian Brooks. Uh, Jack Davis is the first of our novice drivers. Starts alongside Curtis Louis on row number 15. And last but not least, Martin Alger and Alex Doddington start on row 16. There's 32 cards scheduled to be in the field. Good luck, X30 seniors. I, I mean, I was having a chat with some oh, of them. Oh, they're there. They're sent there. They're sent there. There's... <laughs> What's up there as well? If, you're, oh, if, if by any chance you're watching this and, and you're from um, you're not from the UK and you're looking at this thinking, oh my God, what on earth are they lot doing? This is what we do. This, this is go-karters in the UK. This is what we normally... This is what we have to deal this with. This is what we have to deal with. And we come here and we do it and we love it every single time. This is why, and we're, this is why we're all absolutely insane. Bill, away we go then for the start of this one. I can't even tell you who's come out of there in the lead because the rain and the spray is uh, coming down that hard. We peer through the spray. It looks like the 48 of Archie Garlic has held onto the lead. Another 70. Ooh, big, big off for Joshua Torpy. And that's one of the favourites in this race. Gone on lap number one. Dramatic stuff Get there on. for one of the front runners. That is stuck in the mud up at Christmas Corner. Good start for the number 10. Tyler Reed's gained about nine positions, I reckon, JJ, on a half lap. I think we've just seen a, a change in leadership. Not sure who it was. It might have been Archie Garlic regaining the lead from Brandon Matshaw. It's, it's, it's oh, chaos. Absolute, absolute chaos. Yeah. It's the only way we can describe it, and it's absolutely fantastic. So here they come then, slow motion -y almost, down into the boot compared to what we've seen through the rest of the day. We're waiting to see them across the line to see who, where, how this order has actually sorted sort itself out. So Archie Garlic did get the lead back. Brandon Matchell now back in second place. Tyler Reed with that amazing climb up to sixth, but Joseph Taylor as well up into eighth place. Sam Headings made up places up into fifth. Then Ellis Borcher has got fallen down a bit into sixth, followed by Lucas Ellinger, Caelan Burridge, Joseph Ahrens uh, uh, and Harry Torpy rounds off your top ten. Biggest mover on that first lap was Mick Banner in the 77 has gained 10 positions is already up to 16th also on the move Scott Smith in the number 37 Harry Torpy as well in the 73 up nine positions the spray continuing to be a real factor three wide going through that's not going to work and round goes the number 73 of Harry Torpy backwards through Oziers he was fighting I think with Joseph Ahrens and Thomas Massarella and the other Torpy is out of this one that's both Torpy's in a spin, oh, and Harry knows that that's a big mistake, a big chance for him gone to gain some good points in this race. I think Thomas Massarella might have gone round as well because we had the, we had a Torpy on the outside. Now Thomas Massarella is okay. I think it, yes, yeah, no, it's just Harry Torpy who's gone round. Caelan Burridge might have might have suffered from that as well because there was a cart going a bit sideways on the just on the exit of. Oziers coming down into Christmas. You can just see see them now. See now all the different lines they're take, they're taking. If you are new to karting, watching this, and you're not necessarily familiar with the wet lines. Obviously, what they all the drivers are doing now is trying to find the grip. Sometimes it can stay on the racing line. You get these weird situations where the racing line actually still tends to be the grippiest. But normally, you end up d darting about all over the place, taking the outside line. Some people go for the inside line. You're just looking for the grip, which is what that 30, number 37 has done there. Scott Smith just getting. A good overtake on that may have been it might have been Caelan Burbridge yeah uh, he was good he was good there was, there was one particular going quite slow just getting that, that chap there just getting a massive bump 
over uh, the curb at the boot. That is the 36 of Nathan Ammies. As we've just seen, now Joseph Taylor has taken the lead of the race. He's overtaken Archie Garlic on that lap. And we've also seen a change for third place. Lucas Ellingham up into third, just overtaking Tyler Reed. He's also the first man to dip below the one minute. He's done a 59.1. He's massively faster than the guys around him. He's got a second faster than the race leader. So keep an eye on Lucas Ellingham, the number 99 car. We're currently following the battle for uh, fifth. And there goes uh, Sam, there, Sam heading, heading down the inside on uh, Brandon Matchell there. But it looks like Brandon might have got the move back. So we will keep it. We'll keep you posted on what's going on with the top three but for oh, oh yeah. a big off there that is the 36 that is oh, I think that's 38 it's Matchel it's, it's Brandon Matchel off so oh, that was fifth place no. for Brandon Matchel off at Ozzy's that's so easy to do because the wet line is on the extreme outside and you go what a short white half a foot too wide and you're off you catch the curb and that is it. There's the number 90 of Steve Brown. He's used to these conditions. Club 100 and BUKC over the years. Uh, there are some carts out there. I'd love to tell you which ones they are. Joseph Taylor's just said his personal best of the race so far in the lead of this one. There is the battle for fifth place. Thomas Massarello in the number 21 and Sam Heading in the number 57. Can they get away from Caelan Burbridge? Down into Ashby Corner. As you say, trying to find that grip out there. Uh, just looking at timing, the number of drivers that have had issues, I think you can count from 19th down in this 31 cart field, have all had some form of drama in this race. So you can see it here on the outside. Look at how much mud there is there. You, just, you, you ca ca catch a wheel on the grass. You just you get just a little, well, an iota of a difference can mean you're, you're out, as, as so many drivers have already found out. Following the battle here, for it's about 15th place. Uh, we've got Alex Johnston has just overtaken uh, Steve Brown, and then behind them we have got uh, Oliver Henwood and Ty Stansfield, who are, um, uh, I'm assuming he's had he's had some issues on uh, this uh, during this race. Ellis Borchier has had a problem on that last lap as well. Lost for five positions, two and a half minutes to go. Luke Sellingham has taken second place away from Archie Garlic. 3.8 seconds is now the lead. For Joseph Taylor we're having a look at the battle here between Sam Heading in the 57 and Caelan Burbridge in the 32 so this is a good response back from Burbridge he's coming on strong trying to peer out the little gap we have here in the commentary box window if it's if it's stopped raining or if it's at most very very light maybe uh, someone in the chat can help us as to what's happening out there in the paddock but the lap times are starting to drop now which indicate at least for the drivers JJ it's not getting any wetter not getting any wetter, no, but it has, as we can all see, obviously, with the, these guys will be doing sort of low, mid, 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 mid 40s uh, in, in the dry. We've now just seen uh, Joseph Taylor go get into the 58.8 first driver below the 59 barrier. I think, he, I think he's checked out in front because he's got a four and a half, it's nearly a five second gap to Lucas Ellingham in second place. Meanwhile, we're still with this battle for, uh, I think, eighth for about seven, seven for eighth place yep. between. Jordan Brown and Sam Heading. In fact, it looks like Jordan Brown has now got in front of Sam Heading, so he's up into seventh place. Sam falling down into eighth. This is the best place you want to be for Joseph Taylor in these conditions. No spray, clear road ahead of you, and able to find the grip and confidently send it into each and every corner. There is the number 26 of Curtis Louis just going round there in 30th place. Coming over the line, then your leader on to Ooh, now we'll watch the clock this might be two more laps it might be three more laps we'll wait and see but 5.37 seconds is the lead for joseph taylor at this precise moment lucas ellingham still in second place there's been a change for seventh place confirmed jordan brown ahead of sam heading uh, christian brooks has also got past nathan amos on that last lap for 10th place alex doddington the top novice at the moment has gained 16th overall Getting past Ellis Borsche. There's his second place driver. Third place Garlic. Tyler Reed in fourth. Thomas Malsarella fifth. Burbridge in sixth. This has been a great drive from Joseph Taylor. This is about as difficult as it gets uh, for club racing here in the UK. This is where we find out the true the true talent though, in my opinion. This is yep. this is where you really have to 
Okay. Is, it, is, there, is this where we found out how good Ayrton Senna was back in the day in the Tolman and then the Lotus afterwards? To see what he could do in the in, his, in the F1 car. Look at what these guys are doing out in their out in their cars. You can see so sort of almost a sixth sense for where the grip is going to be. You can see him taking an interesting line then through Christmas, just looking for that grip, looking for the pace. And if he gets it right, as Joseph Taylor has done through the, through, through this race, now leading Lucas Ellingham by the devil's numbers, 6.66 seconds, he is just coming through to what take what. Provider obviously needs to keep it on track for these remaining few corners, but it looks like he's going to take another, or he's going to take a dominant victory. We've only seen very few dominant victories today, but this will certainly be one of them. Down the back straight for Joseph Taylor then, number 27, into the booth for the final time. Just needs to be nice and careful, under no pressure at all from the rest of the field behind in tricky conditions, wet conditions here at Wilton Mill. Joseph Taylor takes heat number two in X30 Senior, and we wait now to see who comes home in second place. It's gonna be Lucas Ellingham, more good points for Ellingham both today and in the championship. Third place will go to Archie Garlic, there he is in the 48. Tyler Reed, Thomas Massarella, Caelan Burbridge, Jordan Brown with the fastest lap of the race on the last lap there, 58.5. Then Moody, Christian Brooks gets ninth on the last lap, Sam Heading, Nathan Amis all finished. What was a very, very tough race there, JJ. Very, very tough indeed, but well done to everyone for getting to the end of that race.